Hey guys and gals, let's build King Namor's throne room by Lego Superheroes. This is the Marvel Studios thing. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever by Lego, set number 76213, and it contains about roughly 300 pieces. You have to make this and some other things, you get three minifigures. And just by first impressions, this doesn't look too exciting. Now, I already did the unboxing on this, and honestly, the parts do look promising, so maybe we're in for a treat here. We don't know. We haven't started yet. So, here's the manual. It's very simple. It's bound, and, you know, you can just tell. It doesn't look too bad of a build. It's dark red and stuff like that, with colors hidden inside, so maybe that's the... Maybe that's so. Oh, stud launchers. And yes, you do get stickers. So let's see here. So it's broken down into three builds. Let's take a look at the stickers real quick. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So you do get uh, you know, a decent set of print work. Wish it was printed. I don't think any of this stuff in here was printed except for the torsos. So. Without further ado, let's get going here. We're gonna, this is bag number one. Oh, look, we got the friend stars again. Maybe we should put hearts in there, too. And yes, this is another one of those bedside builds. I open the boxes up in the morning, and I do the builds at night. So, let's get going here. Now, i got to put all the minifigures together. Now, lately I've been on a minifig craze trying to find a lot of parts, so hopefully they may have some stuff in here. And so we'd be spending probably about two hours just putting the figures together. Let's make her look happy. we got to have a lot of happiness in the world these days anyways. And then we got this also look. Last time I've seen a hairstyle like this is probably back in the 90s. Yeah. Well, actually now it's popular again with the dudes, so yeah. And we got to do two. I don't know what these are here. And it is very hot and humid today, so not too pleasant. And my allergies have been kicking up, so I may sneeze a few times. And I don't know. Okay. Now... I have to throw disclaimers on these. I'm by all means not a professional Lego set reviewer. I just do this stuff for fun, so do not construct the, or do not cons construe these as a professional product review. I, this is just my own opinion here on you know on these sets and stuff like that. And let's put these Liberty spikes on. And I did know somebody in high school who had hair like that too. I never. Never want to step on that, I'll tell you, that would hurt. <laughs> so I gotta do another one of these rocket launcher things. Yeah, and I'm getting pretty tired. I could have done this in the morning, but I figured I'd like to get it done. Review it because I have a couple of sets I'd like to build with you. And I could just tell you right now, because they've already been released, uh, one of them is the spaceship, and the other, if I can get that on there, is that big giant Lego castle. Now I'm going to be doing reviews on those too, and they were given to me kindly by Lego just to say thank you for reviewing all this stuff, you know, because I'm spending a lot of my free time doing these. So, those sets will be fun to, to erect and put together. 
and I'm just dying to do those. Uh, this I have to do. This is part of the deal. So, um, and so far the minifigures to me are okay. If you're into this theme, they're pretty nice figures. But for me personally, I just not really a fan of it. Okay. Now I don't know what half this stuff does. Lego provides us very little information when we get these. So unless I'm willing to scour and do my research, but you're in luck. Oh, these are just meant. It's like if I were to buy these at the store. I'm not familiar with the theme. If I'm buying this for a builder, you know that kind of thing. Is this something that if I bought this and I saw it on the shelf, would it interest me? So far, the box did not do it for me. So, well, now we have to depend on the build. If we did that, why don't we just put that here anyways in the first place? And you start writing up your own building guide, you kind of find faster ways of doing these. Yeah, summer's over, and that's it. All my plans are pretty much canceled, and... By the time I already have done this, or released it, I've already got a haircut, but my barber uh, has been cutting back his hours, and I finally managed to get in. Well, make an appointment. Still got the flippy shag look right now, so I can get rid of it. It's honestly, when it's 112, 115 degrees outside, uh, your hair is more of an insulator than anything else. So, yeah, and you got to put two of these things right there. So remember, there's one on the back side, too. Let me go right here in this area. Um, hold on. I got one of these downward ones. Where does it go? You can't put it like that. Oh, here it is. So it's the, uh, it's the dark bluish gray. So if you're building this and you're stuck, that's where they go like that. So... Kind of wrap around the palisade brick and i'm glad that these help people out for building things you know if like you the viewer you get stuck on something and uh, many have said well jay it's better than doing this with piano music going you know, i'm not here to do a speed build i mean i could do that you know i could mute the audio on this so i've been thinking about it mute the audio on it and just Play piano music for three or four minutes and then let you guys and gals just sit there and watch that and then just keep this one as is and you can watch the full flavor. I don't know. Mostly the kiddies like the speed builds and I'm they don't do me any good. So this set for the first bag looks kind of dreary, it looks gloomy. There's a little bit of bright colors, but when we progress through the build, there's a lot of goodies. And we got to put a sticker on a tile or a slope. Now, these dark gray ones I don't care for really, but I still don't want to put a sticker on that. Making sure I don't put that on backwards. Yeah, my air has been going full blast, and it's just warm in here, so. Um, I know there's some, especially back east and, you know, in the back part, or in the eastern part of the country, they, they want summer to last as long as they can, as it can, right? Here, we're already tired of summer. It's boring, it's hot, and you're staying inside all the time. Now I know what those guys with the cold blizzards have to go through. It's like that, you know, there's no blizzard outside. You can go out there if you want. You just got to be careful. We don't want to get a heat stroke, you know. And you know, it's just cold. Or, and some people complain about having too much water. We don't get any. Matter of fact, there's been some whales out here that have been drying up. I still got water running, but for how long, I don't know. That's just 
scary part. You don't know. Okay. okay. So we got two rocket launcher, these stud launchers. I hate these. I am not a fan of stud launchers. Um, in fact, I am going to... I mean, these sets are just not my thing. I may just say, hey, you know, don't. Please don't send me any more of these. Um, you know, so far am I entertained with this set? Yeah, I'm just being honest. It's not terribly fun. You know. Maybe for a child this would be fun, but for an adult... Oh, like I said, I still get these questions. Well, this set wasn't made for you, it was made for children. Well, it's sure funny, it doesn't say it's made for just for children on this manual, huh? Let's take a look at the box. And i got to make sure that's emphasized here. What does this mean here? It says plus. It means anybody can build it. That's just a recommended number, you know. That means that any anybody could build this at any age. And we got this guy walking through there. We got a progress bar in here. So if you're uh, kind of worried about the age, who cares? They're not going to stop me from building it. Okay, you just slide that in there. Okay, this just slides in. So if you think you have to stick it in there, no, you just slide it in, and you got to hold it in with these. Yeah, I know somebody's going to probably look at that and say, well, I was confused there. Yeah, I was kind of looking at that, too. Sometimes, though, if you write your own manuals up, you kind of get a hang for what Lego's been doing. You know, like, what are they thinking when they're building this? Now, sometimes when I'm building my own manuals, writing my own up, I always kind of visualize what you the viewers are going to be building you know what are you going to enjoy the build this is something that you may want to build in the future you know um, my older stuff I was kind of a bit sloppy on but in this newer stuff that I've been working on in terms of mocks is stuff that you see in everyday life that, that you can actually add into your Lego creations like furniture and stuff some people hate furnishings but I've already been told that a lot of people prefer the furnishings over the reviews. So furnishings are just something that help out, you know, when you're building stuff. You know, it's just, I know they're not really the most glamorous thing. I think that goes there. And this just kind of hangs off. I mean, no, it's not that. It's this piece. So, don't get these confused right here. I had to look very close because of this right here. So, and yeah, you got to put a sticker on that too. You're, I mean, the sooner we get the stickers done, the better. <laughs> because you know what's going to happen after I'm done reviewing and displaying these. I'm going to rip all those off. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to keep those on. Okay, I think this is some kind of craft, but we haven't really... Okay, so this goes this way. And this... I think it's like that. Yeah, indeed it does. Huh. What is this, Luke Skywalker Speed Racer? Oh, I mean, obviously it doesn't look like it, but... Not a Star Wars set, but I kind of wish it was. Okay. Matter of fact, it was almost like a motorbike. 
and so I'm thinking that the legs fit inside of there, but I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm getting better at writing up building guides, you know, and my air just flipped on again, so hopefully it'll get cooler. But honestly, though, guys and gals, I'm getting tired of being cooped up in the house. You know, it's too hot to do anything. I mean, uh, I can go out and take a dip in the pool and stuff, but I want to kind of venture out my past my four walls and my fence <laughs> and the one thing that we haven't had out here which is good news is the forest fires you know or the smoky air that's probably why our summers are just brutal you know at least it's not bad but okay there's a sticker that goes on this they could have printed this on there Ugh, yeah the one scary thing though about the heat is the heat stroke and there's already been some people that have already had it you know, I've had symptoms of it one time and that was time to go into the house and cool down this was if many years ago and I'm fighting stickers right now this instantly just got dropped down to an 8 because if I have to sit here and mess with this, it drops down. Yep, I couldn't get it on straight enough, so that's good enough for me. Eight it is. Alright, and there's supposed to be a one by two. Oh, okay, it goes under here. Okay, I gotta take that back off. So don't forget this piece at the bottom here and stick that in there. Yeah, every plan that I had this summer got either canceled or blown off, and that's whatever. All right, I'm going to be honest. Um, this is one thing I always stay away from when I build my own models is black. Black is not, for cars, you know, it's unavoidable, but for stuff like this, you know, I mean, it's probably unavoidable, but for me, building with black or dark gray parts is just kind of bland. Yeah, you're going to run across it in real life, but it's just not a, a, not a pleasant color. My goodness, how many stickers are we putting on this little thing? I about used half of it up. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh, I need this piece, but I gotta put a sticker on it. Well, that's gonna get ripped off when I'm done. <laughs> yeah. That will get removed. Okay, and this goes here and the slope goes upside down alrighty I feel like that and you got these nice transparent black cockpit pieces and we're just about done with this I see the light right there okay you know what that means guys and gals we will get this out of here so that kind of just I don't know let's put the studs in there does it say load them up it just says four says four. I guess you just put the two in and you have the two spares. Now, don't point this at somebody's eyes or whatever. I know there's some people who do that. Don't do that. And these go like this with it. Okay, and then after you're done, this is what's remaining. Okay, but 
We're going to put those in there. All right, so here we have bag two. And that doesn't look like that belongs here. Look at all those colors. Are we sure that this belongs to this set? And indeed it does. So let's get started. Looks like we're building ourselves a candy man or a gingerbread man. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm already ready for the holidays and gingerbread houses and Christmas trees and ornaments and all that stuff. Not, you know, sets like this. I got a bunch of goodies to show you though, but I just gotta get this done. This is not a bad little wig. I just wish it didn't have these goofy elf ears on them. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's a nice slick back, but no, 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 he's got a spear too. And I really would like to get back into my own mock building. I, I miss doing it. It's just I'm probably going to start slowing down on these a little bit here. Okay. Not, not too bad. So you get three figures. It's not too bad to have three of these in here. Step number one is this, and I kid you not. Just set it on the table. Why don't we just do step number one like that? Would have been better. <laughs> See, I'm doing that with my manuals because, you know, some of this stuff is just so trivial. Then I go back maybe a few weeks later and I reread the manual. Can I make sense of this? Is this something I could build? If it's not, if I can't follow it, I don't expect you, the builder, to follow it. You know? Hmm. I'm surprised they don't actually make a 12 by 12 circular plate. Lego may one day do that, and you can make a desert island out of that. Okay. Okay, let's get it going here. Start blasting through this. Wait. Put that down there. And yes, we got to be careful because... Remember Brittle Brown and we got Brittle Red? I had a fan of mine tell me that he's been experiencing yellow breaking. And if these are not old sets, these are sets that were made like a year or two ago. I hate to think Lego's still making faulty parts because, you know, as expensive as this hobby is, it's not going to be too pleasant. Some of us, this is, this is our escape from every day. after work I don't want to have to see any computers sometimes I just want to get a little basic here All right. so I've been doing stuff like this in mind you know two sub steps on the same page I'm just learning how to write up a manual efficiently to where you can build along and it's not too too painful, you know. It's not going to be hard or, or whatever, you know. Writing up your own building guides is tough. Some people will just build it and just let the machine do it auto. And they'll charge for those. Like, they'll sell them. And I'm, you know, you'll see a preview and I'm like, I can't even follow along here. And you want me to pay for that? Like, I'm selling some of my building guides, but I want to make sure you could follow along. I don't want to... You know, if you get lost, that's that's on me there. I don't want to have anybody get lost building some. That's not... We're not, we're not here to make people get lost. We're here to help people build and make things. Yeah, I've been watching this series that came out a couple of years ago, probably about eight or nine years ago, called Under the Dome. It was on one of the local networks, and kind of been binge-watching that. 
No, not for inspiration. Just I'm in more to those type of shows like Lost than The Walking Dead. There's some other ones that I'm kind of poking around watching. And, you know, sometimes it's just... I like to get into more fantasy builds, like stuff like that. You know, if you've ever watched my backcountry camping, it's what it's going to lead up to something where it's a little more, you know... I'm not going to say it's um, science... Well, maybe science fiction, but you know, you got to have a little fun. Speaking of that, though, I did have a friend of mine ask me if I ever thought about building World War II items like tanks and projectile launchers. And, you know, eh, I'm not much into the World War II stuff. And, two, you know, there's enough wars going on right now. We don't need to be doing those type of things. So I'm not going to do that. You know, I want to build stuff that I see every day. I mean, yes, I could turn on the news and see that stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's not, I just want to build something and enjoy it. Another one of these tile launchers here. So, you know, yeah. Tells you don't poke that in someone's eye. Well, there's nothing in there. What are you going to do, throw that at somebody? That tells me something is going to fit in there and launch out at someone. Yeah, my nephew took his driving test and passed, so now he's a licensed driver, which is cool. Now he wants to go down and get himself a burger and get a haircut and stuff and do all the big kid things like, oh, don't rush it too much because being an adult is not fun because you have to work not much of a life doing that all right and we put 40s plates on so you could see now that just from the dark gloomy thing into this this is dark red, but you can see we have some colors in here. So this is not too bad. It's not nasty or anything like that. Wait till we get to the castle. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do that, Bill. I think we're just going to do it here. I'm going to use the turntable when I work on that so we can take a look at it at different angles and stuff. Um, I've had another video camera. I have my 4K jobby. I don't know if I want to do this. Let's do different angles or something. You know, something a little different. Something I normally don't do. Don't know yet. You know, how, how do you do that? You know, how, how do you do it? And I like these transparent red radiator grills. Those are always cool. Transparent parts are always fun to look at. It's just something you don't see very often. Plus it gives a little bit more dimensional look. And it looks like these fit in here like that. It would be nice if there was like a light or something to illuminate those. But you get plenty of these. Four by four bricks with bail. All right, and no, that doesn't go there. Okay, hold on. Okay, you think it would go there? No, you actually got to have a step in there. Whoops, that's coming apart. So I wasn't paying attention, and I saw that right there. I was like, well, that doesn't look right. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be like this, and yeah, so that's how it is. So, you just got to remember it's supposed to be sunk in a little bit. Yeah, but I'm glad I can help out with these builds, my, you know, to the best of my ability, because even I get confused. You know. Summer colors right there. Look at all the bright colors that are in here. I mean, this, 
even though if it's it's just so far you know the build quality seems pretty sturdy looks pretty cool it's minifigure scaled um, is it keeping my interest it's unique it's not like that other one I was building when I was bored with it this one here is keeping my interest and I think I skipped a step yes I did so let's go over here so yeah this will keep this kept my interest I think it'll keep your interest too. I think it's the different colors now somebody like myself who's on the spectrum you know um, you know, my mind jumps around from time to time and just looking at the colors breaks that up so after a while building the same thing gets a little boring you know I mean who wants to to do that all right I got a couple of these two by threes in red goes right down in there okay the book's going pretty slow so Which is fine. If you're not comfortable building stuff like this, then so be it. Okay. And actually, there is a lime green piece that goes in there. Yeah, so I need to set this channel up to where I can start answering comments more efficiently on here. You know, so if I miss, I read the comments, I just can't respond back because I'm always on the main channel. You know, 99% of the time. I don't mean to neglect this one, but uh, I do read the comments, and if it's something really important, I try to hop over here so that you know that you are not being ignored or something. Nobody wants to be ignored. And this goes here. So far, though, I'm, I'm having mixed emotions about this. It is unique. It's different. It's colorful. I mean, for a superhero set, I'm actually saying that, but I am, my mind is just all over the place, so, which is fine by me. At least we're over halfway through. I mean, you know. right. Now, I was looking at that thinking that's weird. I think these, the studs are supposed to go in these tubes right here. So these go into here to offset it. So I think that's what it is, and I think that's what they're going for there. All right, so we got to do all of those. They started with one, which is a guide, and it should hang over half of this, and which it does. So I guess we did that correctly. Because honestly, if I wasn't paying attention, I would be stumped on that too. And you know, besides being tired, I'm actually I'm actually coherent. <laughs> I think this is the most pieces we have in this one here. Bag two is pretty the, the brutal one. Once I'm done with this, I'm just going to take a picture of the thumbnail and then I'm gonna crawl into bed and watch under the dome I'm already on season two so I binge watched you know, I hate when you binge watching something and you have to do work <laughs> and you have to stop trying to binge watch a TV show while you're working is not good because they got a couple of these small ones but too they don't have a one by three version of that would have been cool And then there's a piece that goes in there. And we do... Well, it fell on the floor. Hold up. Okay, back to where I was at. You get three of these type of slopes. Which I always could use. It just shoved a 1x3 in the back. Would have, would have sufficed, but no, they didn't. In fact, if these didn't have this little lip here, you could use it as a half pipe. You know, if you're going to make a skate park, you probably still could. Let's see here. 
three tiles, and two of these plates right here. And I believe that's it. Yep. Now, I got one extra one of these. So I want to check something real quick here. You know, if I'm not sure, I'm going to look in the book. Yeah, we just need one of those. Okay, well, that's what you get for bag two. Okay. We got three. This one's at least numbered. I haven't found one or two. I don't know what happened to those. And you can see there's not a whole lot of parts in this one. So this one's not going to be too bad, but it's mostly small stuff. So let's get building here. Let's build it. You get plenty of these snot bricks, too. So you'll get a lot of those in here. If you get this for parts, you find it on sale, and you get it, and you get the, the goodies. Now, for new stuff like this, I really try not to use these in any of my tutorials. Mocks, I'll use any part I want, but when it comes to tutorials, I try not to use, you know, custom pieces and such, you know. And Lego in their pick-a-brick, which is, well, I'm going to be honest, is a joke. Why, you know, the only place to get these newer parts is on BrickLink. They have a 1x3 here. Why didn't they put a 1x3 back here and save two pieces? I don't know. <sighs> and... Yeah, I'm getting tired. I'm not going to throw in the towel yet. Just want to... I'll review it tomorrow. We'll do a quick review tonight, though. Okay, and I think that's the back part of the throne. I think that's what it is. We got to put these on here too. The radiator grills. May want to do this on something flat so it doesn't bend out of shape and come apart. So you're going to have to place nine of those on there. At least it's not some black color. All right, and it comes with stars too, no hearts. So this is supposed to be a throne room, but I don't see the room, so I think we're just making a throne. Like something you'd see Darth Vader in. All right, let me make sure this is not a mirror here. Well, that's what it is. I'm glad now I checked. So, okay. The one closest to me is the one that I'm working from the manual. Okay. I always do the one on the left hand side. You know, that's the one that I focus on and then And I think the remainder of the stickers goes on this, because we haven't put any stickers on, and... Yeah, that's what we have left. <laughs> yeah, so, looks like we'll have to do one round of stickers here. I saw them in the book when I was reading ahead. Don't know exactly where they go, we just breeze through it real quick. And... Put the hinges on the bottom. So just remember the one on the left is the one I'm working from in the book. This one right here, I'm just this is the one I'm working on. This one's gonna be the mirror. Um okay.
Well, I think we know where the sh that tile that we're supposed to shoot out is. This one right here. So we know where that's going to go, or where it's going to be s shot off to. Alright. Okay, so they used this tile here to seam that in. That's, that's pretty clever right there. So, I guess it would, you, you, could, you, whoops, you could use that to hide that corner. Pretty cool. Alrighty. You know, we're just getting close to this, about 70% done. Now, uh, is it repetitive? Not really. Usually, stacks of two, it's not too terribly bad. Um, we're going to need to make two of each of these. There's one that goes the other way. So something's got yellow teeth, so obviously it needs to be looked at by a dentist. Yeah, but I really can't wait to get into the to the castle. So Jay, when is that castle gonna come around? We don't know yet. Why? Because I just haven't gone that far. There we go. And after that, we put stickers on so number two. It's easy to put it on there first. You get a bunch of number twos, so I'm going to do is read ahead here. Oh, there's another number two on the other side of that. Okay, so number two is going to be where I'm working at. Number one will be over there. So, let's start with two. It's kind of confusing here. I think this is one and this is two. They look almost identical, but they're not. Now, honestly, I don't really care, so we don't really want to deal with that there. Well, I can't get these on straight. And that means that number one will go here. Of course, if we get them wrong, we can always take those off. You know. I spent almost more time putting... Remember that one set, the LEGO Store promo one? I spent more time putting the stickers on it and I was actually building and it was a fun build it was just horrific with stickers and when you get to them when you get like that it's like okay time to ding off points remember this is two and that's one okay hold on oh I forgot to put the one by ones in here. Yeah, I got you get a question sometimes. Do I ever get tired doing reviews? Yes. You know, it's like having an artist, you know. An artist, you know, gets a a blank canvas and a set of paints and you can paint whatever comes to mind. Here it's like I get a set of defined parts and I have a canvas that tells me where everything goes and it's kind of stifling my mind where um, I can't just build what I want. Of course after I'm done I can build anything I want out of this. So 
you know, I'm kind of getting a little tired. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe because I'm getting tired, but I'm getting a little bored of this. Hmm, huh. I guess it goes like that, but okay, yeah, it does. All right. Yeah, I'm already ready for winter time where I can go outside and it's freezing cold and go for a jog and that kind of thing. You know, just to relieve some stress, not sit in the house all day, binge watching under the dome. <laughs> all right. And then we put the two here on another one of these bow pieces. I gotta find it. And It goes right there, and there's two tiles that go here. A tile and a... Hold on. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do... Let's go ahead and put two and one on here real quick and get it out of the way. And that one there needs one. They look pretty close. I don't think it really is going to matter. If you go OCD, like me, it's, you know, I just thought of something. I hope that castle set is all print and no stickers. That would be like the most epic thing there. All right. It doesn't show stickers on these, so I think I'll just drop those in now. And I will rip those stickers off because, like I said, these plates with bow, they're good for using for, like, vehicles, seats, and stuff. You know, they're white. I, don't tr I try to stay away from using white. Uh, but it's a color that I could use for other things. And we have to wrap it up with two teeth. So as creepy as it is with the teeth, you got to put more teeth on it. But like I said, though, it's like an artist, though. You don't want to be stifled. It's like taking art class in college. You have a teacher that tells you how to look at things. Well, that's not how I see it in my mind. Well, you're wrong. Well, it's not art, then. That's a consignment job. Okay. This goes like that. Um, okay, so it does hang over. Alright. That means that this one's done, and we can set that one on there now. Now I'm just going to go through the manual real quick. We'll go through it together, and then we'll see here. So far this, you know, I mean... <laughs> That's what it looks like so far. And let's take a look. As you can see, it's the same thing. This is what I was coming up with. So if you're building in pairs, that's what you do. Okay. And we got to put the top piece on that now. Yeah, though, but sometimes after a while, it's like, I mean, like, I hadn't even started that campground I want to build. I was getting ready to start working on it, and then I got a bunch of stuff coming in that I have to go through. And, like, I've been turning down a few offers. They wanted me to do a book review, and I thought, no, I'm not reviewing any books. It's already been released. I don't have to worry. I'm like, I'm not reviewing books, because I... I don't have I don't I don't do book reviews I, I, I don't want to you know it's just like going in there I can't really you know, last time I did something like that was like a book report back in grade school and I always hated doing those and I thought no oh 
Still got a few stickers left in here, so we got to be tortured, what, a couple more times? So not too bad. Not too bad, too sad. Okay, so we're actually going to have to... Well... Okay, these are kind of deformed a bit, but this actually does fit in here. Okay. So you're actually going to have to do this. So this thing looks like it's ready to chop down on something, but that's as far as it goes. Of course, it shows it straight up. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. All right. We're going to place all these on here first. The reason being is we got to put sticker uh, one here and then two there. The best thing to do is just to build it first and stick the stickers on. It's easier to grab. You have big hands. you got to do that. So, just be easier to get these on here as straight as possible, which is almost impossible for me. Yep, it didn't look like it had a lot of stickers, but it's pretty deceiving because all the stickers are small and they're on the round pieces. And this goes on top like this. Okay, so it's right on top of those studs. And I'm right at the edge of my table, too. Okay. Whew. Another one of these. Wait. Okay, I almost put that on there prematurely. Oh, wait a minute. Did we get a gold one of these? So we get a gold ingot. Cool. Use that for the bank. Someday I should just build me some big, massive, grand bank with everything. You know how I am with restrooms. I'll put a restroom in there, too. Oh, we do a bank robbery scene. He can use, he or she could use the bathroom. Okay, and there's a sticker that goes on that now. Obviously, it's sticker three. And guess what? Goodbye. We don't need that now. Getting close to the end there. Let's see, these are just not going on straight. Sometimes when I get a used bin of Lego, they'll see where you can tell. Somebody put all those stickers on, they're all crooked and nasty, and you're like, oh. Looks like I'll be spending half the afternoon scraping all those off, and I had to do that. Okay, so now it looks like we're building ourselves some kind of a, like a drawer. You got to put a one by two at the bottom there and hang it over. See the light at the end of the tunnel. There's not a lot of parts left here. It's just very minimal stuff. Oh, there's supposed to be a tile that goes on that. Okay. Ooh, a couple of wall of the bitch. Some one by two bricks. Yeah, we're just getting there. Look at that. If I wasn't so tired, I'd probably just review it and get it out of the way. And you gotta stick all those in there one a piece. But the set gives you two a piece. So it looks like you get a few extra, I guess in case you lose one or something. There you go. It's got the thing that says you're done. And this goes in here. So this is like a little door. You can put this in here. Well, you can try. Okay. Okay, so I guess he's going to have to put his dinner right there on the side. Alright. 
I mean, and vines and stuff. So, for myself, though, I'm not really into this theme. Um, the build's unique. It's a little different from. It's a little different. It's not. I mean, yes, some of the colors are a bit bland on this, but it's not like it's something really just bad, not horrific or anything. And this actually fits crooked in here like that, so it just has to fit like that. It'll stop. And I think that's it on that one. And we got to put another fish here. I see a bunch of fish. Looks like we'll be repeating this on the other side. Oh no, Jay, you're, it's getting repetitive. You're going to complain. <laughs> It's a difference. It's not like that micro build we were doing. Now it's starting to get pretty flaky with all these accessories. And put that in there. There you go. And then back on the other side over here. And then we gotta do the same thing over here again. So yeah, uh This must be underwater then if it's all the seaweed on it. All the seaweed and the vines and you know, all these pieces are pretty useful. You could use these for an underground theme if you want or for maybe a desert scape. And then we got to put the fish over here. There's only three fish, okay. So I guess it's supposed to look simulate fish swimming around underwater. Too bad they don't make those transparent clear or light blue would have been better there. Imagine if I was a, in charge of the brick designs. We'd be getting some pretty unique colors and pieces in some pretty exotic colors. And that's it. So you basically shove this in here. And... I think you're supposed to slam this door shut. No, well, maybe not. I think you're supposed to just push this in here. This right here. Yeah, and the thing shoots out too. There we go. And it tells you not to poke at somebody's eye. That's not fun. They give you three tiles and an extra fish and stuff, so it's always good. Okay, that's it. Let's put the figure in there. Whew. And you get a few of these discs to launch. You can throw them at somebody. Well, we're gonna. Those are golden tiles. They deserve better. So you get a bunch of extra pieces here. In fact, let me look at the book, because i got an extra fish and stuff. I just threw that book, and I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> you know why? Because I just want to hurry up and get it done here. Um, okay, there's three fishes. Fishies. There's actually one that's supposed to go here. So let's just do that real quick. I looked at the box, so I kind of cheated. Ways to get the manual, so it's right there in the middle. That's the one I forgot. And this is pretty much about it that you get left over. So you get a, a, another set of colorful gems, a tooth, a uh, holder with stick, a couple of teeth, and if you want to count these extra tiles, you get those too. All right. Now, um, just for rough review though, uh, is the build durable? I'd say it's average with these uh, pieces on this. These can easily just come off. And here you got the king, I think. Let me look at the box. I believe it's probably him. Indeed it is. 
So I'm just going to have him sit down in his throne with this spear. In fact, this would be great for a... I don't know what you'd use this for. It's obviously not a throne room, it's just a throne. And you got these other two guys here, guys and gals or whatever. Okay. And then you got this. And I believe that this is probably minifigure scaled, so let's put this lady in here. I don't know her name, I forgot already, and she's supposed to slip in there like that. You know what I mean? And now, is it playable? Yes, this is playable. You can do things with it. It's got the stud launcher, so it does have some action to it. Uh, three figures is pretty good. Um, can it drop in a Lego city? You could drop this into a city just by cleaning it up a little bit. But this could just drop right in. What about a mock? Could you drop this into a mock? You could. Uh, so it, it does have some accessory value. It does have accessories with it, like the fish and the gems. It's got the secret compartment in the back that doubles up as a stud launcher. So it is, like I said, fully playable. And did it keep my interest? <sighs> Except for the yawning, though. Yes, it actually was. This wasn't too bad of a build. It wasn't dark and dreary. Yes, the color's a bit dark, but at least they mixed in some lighter colors to it, so it doesn't really help me lose my interest. Would I recommend this for a superheroes fan? If you're really into this theme, yes. Because of the figures and the accessories. This is pretty much a drop-in piece. You could just build the rest of the, the room around it. Um, if you're not into this theme, if you're like me, you like building cityscapes, uh, backcountry scenes, and stuff like that, this is probably something you want to stay away from. It does have some accessories, though. But uh, personally, for me, though, um, it was an okay build. Build quality was the build quality is good. It's just for retention-wise, yeah, I'd say it's average.